This is without question the worst lie yet from Ted Cruz. Hearing this earlier absolutely made my core temperature shoot up like five degrees because of how outrageous it is. Let's listen and then we'll come back and I'll break it down. And I'll tell you, when you think it can't get any worse, it does. This year, I'm sorry to tell you, the United States Senate is going to be voting on a constitutional amendment to repeal the First Amendment. I am telling you, I am not making this up. Senator Chuck Schumer has announced the Senate Democrats are scheduling a vote on a constitutional amendment to give Congress the plenary power, the unlimited authority to regulate political speech. Because elected officials have decided they don't like it when the citizenry has the temerity to criticize what they've done. They don't like it when pastors in their community stand up and speak the truth. And it makes their lives inconvenient when they're not standing for principle and actually that's pointed out back home. And I'll note this amendment, which has 41 Democratic senators as co-sponsors. 41 Democrats have signed on to repealing the First Amendment. It explicitly says, nothing in this new amendment shall abridge the freedom of the press. So the New York Times is protected. But it doesn't say the same thing about the freedom of speech. It doesn't say the same thing about religious liberty. What it says is that politicians in Washington have unlimited constitutional authority to muzzle each and every one of you if you're saying things that government finds inconvenient. I came to a conclusion today. I always have this internal debate going on about different conservative politicians and different right-wing media figures where I ask myself, okay, is this person lying or are they just an idiot? You know, and it depends on which one we're talking about because there's, I have a different conclusion for, you know, different ones and some of them I still don't know. But the conclusion I came to today about Ted Cruz is that he is, in fact, lying. He's not as big of an idiot as he looks. He's lying to you. Okay, when you go out there and you say something as bold as the Democrats are uh, planning to vote on repealing the First Amendment, repealing the First Amendment, you don't, you, that's not just, oh, you misperceived something that they did. That is, you are lying. You are taking what you know the situation is and you are twisting it to the point where it's unrecognizable and then you're lying. You're telling a falsehood. You're being inaccurate on purpose. Okay, so. What is he loosely referring to? Well, he's referring to the constitutional amendment brought up by Chuck Schumer and uh, Senator Udall to limit billionaires and corporations from buying our democracy. It's got nothing to do with literal speech. It's got nothing to do with repealing the First Amendment. I mean, that's just an outrageous way of looking at the situation. And again, it's just a flat-out lie. So uh, when I heard this, I uh, decided to look up all the polls that I could find on this issue and get this. Quote, 86% of the public thinks elected officials in the nation's capital are mostly influenced by the pressure they receive from campaign contributors. In other words, the thing that you're describing as outrageous, the Democrats want to limit this. The American people, 86%, go, no, 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 yeah, that's a problem. They should do that. That's right. Uh, we're with the Democrats on this one. Uh, an, in another poll, it was 76% of the American people say um, money runs our politics too much. 81% want money out of politics. I've seen numbers as high as 90% of the American people that say they want money out of politics to limit the corrupting influence on our politicians. So you got to understand something. This isn't a partisan issue. Okay, among the American people, it's not a partisan issue. It might be in Congress, but not among the American people, because you have a majority of Democrats, a majority of independents, and a majority of Republicans. 68% of Republicans go, yeah, no, we would like to get big money out of politics, for sure. So while he's up there saying, oh, these Democrats, how dare they want to, he says it's repealing the First Amendment when it's just limiting big money uh, in politics, how dare they want to do that? Nobody agrees with you, Ted. Your own party disagrees with you. They think you're wrong. 
he's so disingenuous and he's such a liar and it shows you where um, his allegiance lies. His allegiance is to the big corporations. His allegiance is to Wall Street. Okay, his allegiance is to billionaires. He wants that money. He wants that money because when he runs, uh, when he runs for office, uh, they give his campaign a shitload of money. Then he gets elected and he does favors for them. And then uh, they keep the vicious cycle going where he gets rich personally. I'm sure when he gets out of office eventually, whenever that is, uh, they're also going to reward him with some contracts to hire him as a lobbyist or a consultant, as they always do. These politicians can sit at home and just get a million dollar paycheck from different corporations they sold out to while they were in office. This is what Ted Cruz does. He is the poster boy for corruption. And this is a clear example right here. And uh, one of the other most ironic parts about this, in the middle of his rant there, he goes, uh, these Democrats, they don't like it when people criticize them. That's why they're trying to do this. How ironic, man. You don't like it when people criticize you. That's why you're against it. Okay? You don't want actual democracy. You don't want an actual debate of ideas. If you did, you'd be in favor of getting money out of politics. But you don't want that. You want to do what your donors tell you to do. It's you that doesn't want anybody criticizing you, or else you'd be in favor of this amendment. You know, if you're, if you're in favor of this, and you make it so that we can limit big money in politics, then it is a debate of ideas, as opposed to just a debate of dueling donors. You know, and also, this amendment doesn't even go far enough. It just gives Congress the ability to uh, regulate money in politics. It doesn't actually say they're going to do it. You know? And I'm in favor of the Wolfpack Amendment, which goes further and just flat out bans money in politics and mandates that we need to do clean elections, publicly financed elections, and ends corporate personhood. So this doesn't even go far enough. But the idea that you can try to mislead people in such a brazen way and say that the Democrats are trying to repeal the First Amendment, they're not trying to repeal the First Amendment. They're not trying to limit speech. They're not trying to limit freedom. They're totally in favor of the actual First Amendment, they're against the ridiculous way that it was interpreted by the Supreme Court when they said money equals speech. Because they realized that, hey, wait a second, if money equals speech, then that means that, by definition, the people with the loudest voice in a democracy are going to be the people with the most money. Which means Sheldon Adelson and the Koch brothers and even George Soros and left-wing people that have a lot of money, they can trample over all of us. Our voice means nothing when money equals free speech. And the point is, it doesn't. And it's time to clarify that in the Constitution. And the fact that he's against it is ridiculous because, again, about 90% of the American people are against him, but he still stands up there and brazenly argues like the clown that he is.